Howdy mate! Today we're doing the second beginner exercise in Rust. We will prompt the user for a number and then tell the user if it is even or odd. It will look something like this. Yippee. Welcome to You Code Things. This is an easy exercise. So those of you waiting for threading or macros, we are working up to it. Also, thank you Void Noir for your comment. I'll be using those links in my future videos. Cargo new odd or even with a bin flag is how you make a new application. Open the main.rs file in your favorite text editor. We already have an input function that we created in the last video. Let's bring it over. my name. Get that number off the user and we'll unwrap the result. This is lazy because if the input function returns an error, unwrap will crash the program. But we're keeping it simple today. This is still a string instead of a number. Make it a number using the pass method. We will tell the pass method what type we're trying to make using the turbofish operator. So far, this video is very similar to the last video. But here's the diff- The if expression and remainder operator. The if expression lets us conditionally do stuff. And here we're checking if the user's number when divided by two has a remainder equal to zero. So if the remainder is zero, run the code in the first block, else run the code in the next block. This was pretty short, but there is a little more we can learn while we're here. In other programming languages, this construct is usually called an if statement, not an if expression. Other languages also might call this a ternary expression. Because it's an if expression, it can return the value in the last line of the block. Sort of-ish like a function. So we could also write the same thing like so. So notice that the last thing in the expression is returned implicitly if you don't use a semicolon. Let's quickly make it pretty using the Rust formatter. So this if expression returns a string, which is then formatted in the print macro. You could also use this to conditionally assign values to a variable. <laughs> Now have a go at the extra exercises, which are, if the number is a multiple of four, print a different message. And ask for two numbers, one number to check and one to divide. If check divides evenly into num, tell the user. Otherwise, also tell the user. I've left my solution in the description below. Please subscribe, like, and comment if you enjoyed this video. Now go code stuff.